look like there was probably an accident or something um that they have traffic police or soldiers they look like soldiers come and direct but it's so creepy to see them just uh, walk around with guns like that like isn't that i don't know man to talk in a really nice voice but please like comment and subscribe and i hope you enjoy but now we're on our way home and here we are a realistic nighttime routine so my nights aren't normally always the same sometimes i'm home all day sometimes i've been on the road and when i do go on the road when i get back i like to change into my house slippers i don't know it just i don't like to walk around on cold floor i just don't even like to walk around on on bare feet in the house anymore i don't know it's kind of weird but when i get home i light candles in the living room in the kitchen in the bathroom in the bedroom i just try to set a mood and as you saw in the previous clip my lighter died so i had to switch out to this blue one but i just really like the ambiance that candles give when you light them and obviously the smell that they give off so this one goes into my bathroom i really like to do this before i shower and then this one goes into my bedroom please forgive the voiceover if you hear me cackle or anything like that i am new to voiceovers so forgive me but i didn't get to go to the gym so as soon as i got home i took out some food and i laid the chicken out to defrost i grabbed my water bottle and i refilled it because i wanted to work out so here I am filling the water bottle and this scene is actually kind of funny because I ended up spilling water on the counter. I ended up um, messing up how I was closing it and I even accidentally almost put the wrong bottles in the wrong places. So as you can see, like nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect. My nighttime routine is not perfect. It's actually very funny and I wish I could have showed you more funny things that happen, but you know realistically speaking we try <laughs> so this is where i almost put the bottle in the freezer but i meant to put the water bottle in the freezer just to get some chill before i started working out So when I work out, I either like to play some music or find something on Netflix. And I also like to put on my shoes because of my reasons to not like wearing shoes on, not wearing, wearing, <laughs> wearing shoes on a cold ground. Um, but anyways, I put on the sneakers for the extra grip. And here you see me stretching, just trying to warm up my muscles a little bit more and trying to you know relax my body because sometimes your days are tense and you just like to relax around in this clip i'm trying to find something to watch but then you know we get distracted by our phones all the time so that goes on as well i try my best but we're human right so this workout i found from tiktok and i really really liked it it's a full body workout I can try my best to find the TikTok page and leave her link down below because she does do a lot of workout videos on TikTok and I find them very fun and easy.
all right guys so one thing about me i'm gonna lay down relax kick back stretch out (laughs) when i'm done with my home workout i'm also gonna do yoga and you know just like i said free up my muscles but then after that i'm gonna pack up my yoga mats clean up the area put away my shoes and then jump into the kitchen so if you remember from earlier i took out some meat out of the freezer when i was filling up my water bottle so that meat i'm gonna put in my air fryer and i'm gonna cook it up but uh, if you guys have an air fryer drop a comment down below let me know what you cook up in your nighttime routine what you cook up for dinner so right here i have some wings i think i only ate four wings they were pretty decent sized wings Um, I made sure to spray them, put them in the air fryer for, I believe, 24 minutes. And of course, you know, you flip them and things like that. (laughs) So as you can see, I also cleaned up and tried to, you know, make sure the area is presentable for when I'm done. So it's stress-free, hassle-free. What you guys didn't see is that I wiped down the air fryer uh, and then I took the towel and wiped off the water. So jump right into the bathroom and enjoy a nice warm bath. After I showered, I jumped into my skincare routine and i also you know pick my music actually no not my music i put something to watch i actually love watching things when i'm showering i know it's weird but i don't know i I like to prop the phone up somewhere and have it play a video when i'm showering but i went in with the inky list the folic brightening cleanser which i love it's really really nice i'll also leave all the products down below um some of the links are affiliate links so be mindful of that you are supporting me but you're not paying anything extra by clicking the link i just get a commission after i do the brightening cleanser i wait for my face to air dry and then i come back into the bathroom and then i put on my paula's choice as you can see if you use paula's choice let me know because i swear by it it's really nice i try not to use it every day even though they say you can use it every day it's a little bit costly so i try to keep the usage at a minimum um i put it all over my neck and over my chest and then i move into my vitamin c serum this one is eva naturals you can find it on amazon link down below i love using it i swear by that i've been using that for at least two years now at least After that, I move into the Ordinary, the Hyaluronic Acid. Actually, this is Niacinamide. Don't let me fool you guys. This is (laughs) Niacinamide. Um, I do have a Hyaluronic Acid, but I haven't been using that much at night times anymore. If you guys have any skincare products that you would like to share with the rest of us, drop them down below in the comment section. Um, I would love to know what's working for you, what didn't work for you. I think it can help all of us. But I take this time to put away all my products and then I'm going to jump back into the kitchen and have dinner. While I have dinner though, I talk with my friends because sometimes I'll get a call from either my mom or my cousins or my besties or my boyfriend. So it's time to eat and time to socialize via the phone. But if not the phone, then sometimes I like to make sure I have um, a video playing, whether it be on YouTube or you know one of the streaming sites.
I love my bed. I know some of you might not agree that you should never eat in your bed, you should never drink in your bed, but I'm not the only one that does it. Um, I love eating in my bed. I love drinking in my bed. <laughs> I just love my bed. So what I try to do is make sure that I eat as, you know, cleanly as possible. I don't really get any crumbs or anything like that on my bed. And when I do, I dust it off and I sweep up the area. But normally I, I just don't eat messy on my bed but i do eat on my bed if you get what i'm saying so i'm still talking on the phone and now we're gonna jump into some real voice action all right guys so here i am in person as i've been doing a voiceover for the majority of the video especially the beginning portions but i'm gonna end it off with just me saying that i'm in bed now i do have my glass of wine and two more pieces of chicken that i will be eating but i do like to watch um my show and eat um i also like to watch my shows in full screen i think it's weird when people don't and i tell my mom this all the time i'm like mom you're weird how do you not watch it in full screen my mom watches it like this i'm like mommy don't do that <laughs> do this so yeah that off to the side i might edit so i keep this on the bed with me um, sometimes I end up falling asleep and I just don't edit so it's nice when I wake up and I have these at close reach because I might just put my laptop and this stuff over on the dresser I wanted to show you because I didn't show you me getting like moisturized um, at nighttime I like to put this on my face because the moisturizer that I do use for my face has SPF 50 and I really don't want to waste it it's um i'm gonna pop it up on the screen it's super goop i love that moisturizer it doesn't leave any white cast it's very moisturizing and it's very glowy to me um you could just go off my skin tone my skin complexion it does not leave a white cast and i know i know spfs that leave a white cast so i try to use it only during the daytime so in the nighttime i only use the cetaphil and i also use this on my body to moisturize um normally like every now and then i'd use shea butter or i'd use johnson johnson or jorgens uh depending on what i have at reach but lately i've just been using cetaphil it's really moisturizing it's amazing i don't even know another word to use and moisturizing it just really gets me feeling nice and soft then my sister put me onto this well not really my sister i've been seeing people use it via youtube but in real life my sister put me onto it she gave me this one and i saw it in target but i was thinking mm, you know maybe i'll test it out maybe i won't but then it found it wait it found <laughs> i'm so tongue-tied it found its way to me so i decided to try it out i'm still forming an opinion about it um, I haven't really gotten the chance to use it as I would actually use a regular deodorant. Sometimes my days just go on really long and really sweaty and you know I'm just not the type of person to overexert myself during the days so I don't want to form a negative opinion when maybe that's just not the case. So I'm gonna try giving this another try but i have been using it at night time i use my secret i really really love it secret um during the day because it really keeps me smelling nice and the one i use during the day is um is hold on clean lavender it smells amazing but this one this i'm not sure of the other smells this eucalyptus and mint smells amazing i'm just trying to figure out if maybe i should try what other people said and detox my armpits let me know if you use um natural deodorant and how do you feel about it i think this smells amazing so i'm gonna keep using it especially at night time when i'm not really doing much and try to slowly wean off like deodorants that has paraben and aluminum but yeah so that's what i got here and then this is the wine i didn't get to properly show you but this is the wine that i was drinking that i'm continuing to drink <laughs> it's actually really not bad it's really nice wine um yeah so if you ever check it out let me know and if you have any wine recommendations i like white wine and sweet red wine so drop them down below 
I like Racelings, I like Pinot Grigio. Um, I'm not a big Sauvignon fan, but I will, you know, try it out every now and then. But yeah, so let me know and drop a comment down below. Share something that you do that's a part of your nighttime routine. For now, I'm gonna finish eating my wings and continue to watch my show. I'm gonna charge my phone, charge my camera, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night. Please like, comment, and share. And like I said, drop something down below that you consider a part of your nighttime routine. Good night, guys. Bye.